I got a break in the rain again, so I'm out here uh, getting all this cleaned up. And it's really going to make picking the garden, getting the weeds up, uh, pretty easy since the ground's wet. But everything is happy. We have finally got some squash on. The groundhogs have moved on and left me alone, so I got some baby squash finally right there. And then, but which is going to be nice how everything's going to come in. That's going to come in a little later, so I have some when this right here is starting to die out, and that's going to be uh, gravy right there. But the uh, cucumbers are very happy here. They're really coming along. I need to cut this net back about right here. Uh, that way, uh, nothing get to it here, so that really helped. But being this high, being this one up so high, it's keeping it all bundled up. See it right there, so I'm going to cut it loose right in here and uh, let them uh, go on and kind of lay out. I got some nice banana peppers on today, too. I've been letting, those are huge. The bell peppers, they're coming along real well right there. Real well. <laughs> they're coming along good. And then, uh, Tomatoes are happy. I'm starting to get some more blooms back on the top. Uh, looks like I got one over here turning. Yep, I got one right there that's turning. All right, well, cool beans. Everything looking good. Everybody's leaving my uh, squash along. There comes some more rain. I better get busy or I'm going to get wet. The ochre is real happy. And the corn's doing great. Uh, I still got a few bald spots, but. The other replacement corn is coming up, so corn's going to come in and out. So I have some done, and then after a little bit, I let me. I better get busy, or I'm going to get wet. It's a pretty red bird right there. The rain got me off. Where do you go? Whew. All right, I'm standing here looking outside, so it's just a nice little red bird. <laughs> I got one done. <laughs> it's not actually too bad, I guess. It's not really like storming, it's just raining, so it's kind of nice. So, well, I got that one tilled up over there, all the grass pulled out of the, uh, I guess, the tomato garden. But I got it done, and if it would just stay <laughs> like this, I'll be okay. So, all right, well, cool beans. All right, I'm gonna get back started before the rain don't get me too bad. All right. It is still raining, not that bad though, but it's been kind of nice working. Uh, overcast, it's rainy, so it's not been that bad. At least it's not hot. But we got everything uh, done. I got the hand tiller uh, through everything around through the uh, squash is all done. Squash is here. Or squash and our okra. I got one around it. See, it's real super nice right there. I got some squash on. I'm happy about that. Uh, find the groundhogs are less if long. You can really see the ochres right through there. A lot of the replacements come up uh, right through here. I'm just, it is what it is. It's each going to come in uh, in different times. So all of this right here come up and I get some off that and then this. And the corn, the corn is uh, doing amazing. I don't know why the jack hybrid right here, it, 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 this little spot, I mean, it is what it is. But the corn's doing amazing. It's going to come in the same way where I replaced everything. So all of this is just, uh, you know, behind. See, it's already starting to feather right there. You see that? So, yeah. Might whack it and get some seeds off of it. But I didn't run the hand tiller through the big, uh, through the corn. I didn't want to say that, you know, right there. Uh, I just went walked through the rows getting uh, picking up I didn't want because when you run through it it grabs the uh, leaves and breaks them and pulls them over and plus I got a good uh, roots established so I don't want to disturb those anymore but you can tell it is very happy and I'm surprised even that it's underneath the shade but the sun comes this way but the trees the plum tree is not messing with it uh, the strawberries are doing good show you all the strawberries they're doing super well. Let's see if I got some coffee left. Oh yeah, but they're doing well. We got uh, strawberries all right there that are coming on. We got to cut the mother plant loose. That's what they say 
once the strawberry starts running you take the mother plant away because they won't produce any more strawberries it's the next one down then you got to cut them and so forth so it's a lot of tin and i'm just standing here getting soaked <laughs> so let's look at these uh, i haven't showed y'all the grapes this year the grapes i got we have a lot of grapes on this year too the grapevine is very healthy we forgot to cut it back like we were supposed to but you can see all the grapes down through there all up through here there some of the birds is getting to them but you know, i don't mind sharing that's super happy and then that vine that comes down through here all right well cool beans that is me i'm gonna get out of the rain and go get me another cup of coffee i have a few things to do on the mustang today but i hope everybody else is enjoying the garden life out there with their garden we sure do enjoy our garden and i enjoy working in it and uh harvesting it's like the banana peppers right there y'all see those i think i showed y'all those already but we got nice banana peppers i cut the net back off of the cucumbers that way once it can start spreading out because i got cucumbers on down there see them right there that little one it's just a little bitty one but might have to reach in there and get them and i think i got so the bell peppers are extremely happy so everything's happy so i hope everybody's <laughs> I hope everybody enjoys, and I'll holler at y'all taters later. That kind of hurt.